In today's video, we are going to be God boosting the Maw Domination, which is known as the Bomb Path Fitter upgrade for the Boomerang. We're going to combine it with the Times 5 for the Ultra Boost for the NG. And finally, we're going to be using the Home of Defense on the Village. And don't forget the Pyramid STs, because I forgot to say that in the intro. And we're going to do this inside of the rank game. So yeah, obviously this is going to be pretty hard, since I don't really think I've not made a God Boosted Maw Domination inside of the rank match. But I think we might be able to try to pull this off, since I know I have not done this inside of the rank game of all. But we will find out if we God Boosted the Maw Domination in battles too now before we hop into the game if you guys are new to my channel and to see some more content don't forget to subscribe because there's only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed remember subscribing is always free it takes like one second to subscribe and you always change your mind and second of all if you guys enjoyed today's content don't forget to drop a like on today's video and let's hit 20 likes for the next 24 hours i know we could try to easily do this but without further ado let's just jump right into today's video all right here we go ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are on the map mayan and we're going to be using fedora boomer village and ng so we're going to be starting off with the good old boomerang as going to be all the way at the back and i do want to have the fedora on round one as well so i do want to get that up all the way um, I'm not too sure what is the best Fedora spot, but I believe this could be a better spot for Fedora. Like, I don't even know this would be a good spot. If not, then I completely messed up the early game rounds here, but that's fine. Uh, but this guy will be starting off with ETN and the Tashu, which is going to be a loadout. So, I believe this guy might be going for some type of Tashu strategy. Maybe he's going to go for maybe Tag Farm Wiz or Tag Farm More, like who knows. Uh, but this time I'm going to send it with some Space Eco, because I need to make sure we can probably still somehow go for... Hmm, not even sure we could probably still go for the faster throwing or just go for another boomer just able to play safer here so uh let me go for another boomer just in case now for those of you who do not know what is our main goal for today's video is we are going to be god boosting the fifth tier mod domination but inside of the rank match we're going to try to combine it with the times five for the ultra boost for the ng and finally, I'm going to be using the home of defense on the village. And by the way, I kind of forget to say in the intro, we're going to try to buff it with the primary STs. I always forget sometimes, whatever if I forget what is the missing thing that I need to somehow give buffs for the primary, it's only the primary STs. Because primary STs will only directly give buffs to all primaries. Like, I kind of forgot to like say it in the intro, which is actually really crazy. But we're going to try to make a hypersonic, but inside of the rank game. But I have not done this inside of the rank game for a while, though. Um, but I'm hoping for the best. We're going to see if we do go for the God Boosted Fitzer upgrade for the mod domination for the video. Uh, but yeah, this guy might be going for some type of strategy. He's going for the Sniper. Okay, Sniper is always the always the strategy that people have been using a lot. But I'm hoping for the time I'm going to try to um, be sure if I want to go for the upgrade to the Ricochet. Then I think we should be quite fine with it. Because along with the Red Hot Ranks, guys, it will definitely help out a ton here in all the battles too. So... I do want to save more money so we could probably still send a lot of time for group yellows all the way. Um, hmm, not even sure what's going to happen before in the next few rounds because, again, I just want to try to be able to make a hypersonic just for you guys. But the thing is, I'm not even sure if he's going to try to be able to send me with some type of rushes because I know, like, round 18 or round 20 or round 22, like, some type of mod class balloon rushes, he could just somehow send me a rush. Like, I was trying to somehow, like, try to take a lay. But sometimes, whatever, if I want to go lagging with along with a boomer plus with a village and NG strat, I don't really think this would be pretty impossible for me. Just able to force it to go for for the BD all out counters here, or maybe some more class rushes here. But I'm hoping for the time I'm gonna try to be able to go for the for the village like right here because I want to go for the upgrade to. I think this will be the upgrade to the good old radar scanner, and I need to save more money so we could probably still go for the for the more glaze for my boomer because I don't want to over eco a little bit a bit too much. But he is sending me with some space zebras, which I guess that's fine by me. Also, has this guy sent me with some space eco the entire game? I don't really think so. Um, yeah, I don't really think this guy did not send me any space eco the entire round. To be fair, guys, every player I've been finding, these players does not know exactly. Like, they always send me space eco without even going for a banana farm, which is actually a really weird to see. Like, I couldn't have been imagined of how these players cannot somehow end up sending like a lot of time for space suppression eco here all right i don't think i'm gonna have enough money just to go for the radar scanner if not i'm gonna have to go for the cleansing for my boomer or not the boomer but my ng all right there we go got the rare scanner let's get it also i kind of missed round 12 rainbows a lot of course okay well it's all good though 
because I know I have to save more much to go for the for the rare scanner for my boomer. Well, why am I saying boomer? It's the village. <laughs> I know I have to go for the upgrade to the village to the rare scanner because sometimes whatever if I don't go for the upgrade, then I will 100% be dead. Unless if I go for the cleansing form for my NG, then I think we should be quite a-okay against that here. But anyway, this guy has the semi arm mana for the sniper, and I think this guy went for another sniper, but he went for the middle plus with the top path cross path on the sniper monkey which is actually a really good cross path instead uh but yeah i believe this is going to be pretty hard because sometimes my opponent might anti-star very, very much with along with the sniper in it but we will try to go for the upgrade to the balloon trap on my ng so that way we could probably still get so much money from it though but there's the balloon trap for my ng let's freaking get it now let me get turn on what's a good progression eagle all the way i know my ego is definitely not that great to be honest here because i know sometimes my opponent decides to somehow anti-stall the round with the sniper in it sometimes people always use snipers every single time i was trying to go for the for the better progression nico i don't really think this will be pretty impossible just able to try to able to send a lot of time progression nico all the way but i'm hoping for the best we're gonna try to able to max buff the mod domination since i know it's gonna be pretty hard to be able to do this inside of the ranked game and i don't even know if this will be pretty impossible to do so but I am going to go for another boomerang because I believe this will be the upgrade to the good old Moa Press. So that way we can probably still push back the Moa's BFBs and definitely much more with it. But here comes round 20 by the way. Um, let me go ahead. I think I'm going to go for the faster throwing for my boomer just to help out. So I'm hoping that this guy, he does not send me any early game ZMG rushes. Because if he does, then we got to summon the fan that ZMG rush no matter what's going to be. But uh, we're about to go for the upgrade to the monkey uh, comedy. And I am going to get a lot of time for village farms here. I know my ego is definitely pretty terrible because I know my, my opponent has been anti the around for super long. Because everybody always does is go for snipers. And every time I go up against like sniper users that people use is people could somehow do is to try to be able to send me with some with some early game DDT all out rushes. Which is actually really annoying to see though. Um, but I don't even know if I want to stop between probably until we can easily get to... Uh, maybe 3,000 like I'm not, I'm not even sure but I just have to watch out against any DT all-out counter rushes because if he does do that then I just have to be really careful against that like, that will be a big problem for sure but for that being said I think I'm gonna try to get up to the turbo charge in case if there's any DTs about to go by or anything else because I'm a bad fan that this guy he will send my economy with some maybe hit my economy with some sneaky DT rush like he could still do that like I don't even know if he's gonna try to do that or not but I'm hoping for the best. We're going to see if we do somehow go for the for the mod domination very, very soon. Oh, Super Monkey. No way. He's going attack, sniper, and super. All right, then. So he is going to be using one of the best type of, well, not the best loadout of all, in my opinion. But he is going to be using the Super Monkey as going to be the loadouts here, which I'm very surprised that this guy will be going for a super. Like, oh my goodness, man. Um, but I am going to try to go for the upgrade to the mod domination because I know mod domination is 52k. Also, the only thing I need to get is the ultra boost all the way to times 5. So, I do want to get that up before we need to somehow get prepared to go for a better late game advantage here. So, um, let me see if we do go for the mod domination. I mean, it's definitely going to be a lot of time for money that I need to save up. Alright, there's the mod domination, ladies and gents. Let's get it. Um, I am going to go for the upgrade to the to the primary training so we could easily give a little bit of bit range for my primary now all we need to have is to get that ultra boost up after we get that up then we're gonna try to ultra boost it all the way to times five like not gonna lie though ultra boost it all the way to times five might be taking a while because this costs like 100k to be able to afford it though so i'm trying my best to try to afford the ultra boost because i don't really think this would be pretty impossible to be able to afford the ultra boost like this but we will see if we do somehow afford it before the end of the rounds or maybe until past round 40. Like, I don't even know. But I don't really know if my opponent will somehow counter me with some, with some if in a DT rush. Like, I don't really know if he's going to do that or not. But he's going to try to go for another super. But he went for the Dark Champion, I believe. Yeah, he went for the Dark Champion. Okay, then that's a good choice for my opponent. Oh, uh, but yeah, we're about to go for the Ultra Boost very, very soon. Because I know the fact that I had to save it to go for the Ultra Boost is to try to be able to save more money without even building a couple more defense here in all the battles too. So, I'm going to have to stop beaconing like around at 5,500 per eco. So, after we stop beaconing, then I think I'm going to probably save it to go for the Ultra Boost all the way to times 5 though. Well, I just have to afford the Ultra Boost first and then go for the for the ultra boost ability on my boomerang and it's already round 33 so i don't really know if i have time to be able to go for the 
afford the primary SFTs. Because again, primary SFTs might be pretty tricky to be able to afford it as well. But there's an Ultra Boost, by the way, for the good old Engineer. Now we're going to Ultra Boost it all the way to times 5. We are going to go for the... We're about to have to go for the primary SFTs all the way. Um, and I still need to go for the village farms here. So that will help out a bit. So after we have everything set up to go for the for the shroud defense here, then I think we are definitely going to be seeing if we do somehow get rushed from my opponent with some all out type of if in the BADs. Because I don't even know if this guy will send me with some all out BAD rush or maybe or so. Because after we have everything set up, then we're going to see if we do get rushed with some if in a DT rush or maybe with some BADs like who knows. But I'm hoping for the best, guys. We're going to see how powerful is the good old Hypersonic for the mod domination is going to be in all the battles, too. Now, as for my opponent, this guy will be going for a lot of time for snipers. But he went for the, for the supply drop spams along with the elite sniper in it. Which is actually really, really interesting to see. But I don't even know why my opponent decided to bring out super instead of bring out the other tower like this. But I guess that might be a good choice against that guy. Uh, but I am going to be going for the... Mm, I'm gonna try able to ultra boost it. Well, not ultra boost, but I think I'm gonna try to overclock it so we can easily somehow do is to overclock my monkey city so that way it'll increase up the range here. So it's 30k. This one's 50k. Okay, we'll go for another one. How much is it now? 55k. So I believe we might be able to go for that right about now. If we could probably still save it to go for the for the Monkeyopolis. So I don't even know if there's a possibly way. So we could probably still summon the fence like an infinite rushes. Because I know we got the times five for the mod domination for my boomerang. So I think I'm gonna get the times five for my center champion, I guess. But like I don't really go for the times five for the center champion of Vaugh. But I guess we're gonna see if we do go for the center champion all the way to times five, if that's fine by me. But we'll go for the upgrade to the Monkeyopolis right about now. Let's do that. Let's get it. And it's already round 38. So I'm not even sure if my opponent will send me with some infinite BAD rushes. Like, I want to see how powerful is the Hypersonic for my, um, for my Perma Charge. Well, not the Perma Charge, but my Maw Domination in all the BT battles too here. Because I know I want to somehow do is to try to spend a couple more boomers all the way to get to Turbo Charges. So that way we could possibly somehow use the ability everything. And we could easily summon the fence like infinite all-out type of BAD all-out rushes here. Like, that would be a good decision. Um, yeah, this guy might not counter me with some rushes. Like, I don't even know why. But I'm hoping for the best. We're going to see if we do somehow have everything set up. So I'm going to try to have a lot of time per... Um, hmm, let me see if we can try to go for another one. Can I go for another one as well? I don't really think there's another way if I could go for that. Okay. We'll have that up for my... Uh, for my monkey C, so we can easily get much money from it though. But yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of money from my from my monkey opus, which is actually really crazy. But yeah, we're gonna go past round 40, which is actually really really crazy to see. But I'm hoping for the best for the next few rounds. I want to see if we do get counter with the all-out type of infinite BT rushes. But I don't really think this guy might counter me with some with the all-out type of BAD all-out rushes, which is actually really unfortunate to see. Like, to be fair, guys, if I go all the way to get to the highest advantage round, then sometimes it might be pretty impossible to be able to pop the BAD quite quickly because the HP increases, whatever, if you go to the highest advantage round, all the way to get to past round 40 and definitely much more with it. Like, that's absolutely going to be pretty impossible to do so. But I'm going to see if we do go for the upgrade to the... Oh, I could go for the Glade Lord all the way here. I think this might be a good amount of spots. So, we'll have that Glade Lord at the end. And let me have another one here just in case. But this guy, we're going for a couple more Super Monkey Spans, which is actually really nuts here. And we're on round 41, ladies and gentlemen. So, I do not know if my opponent will somehow counter me with some, with some infinite all-out fortified bats. Like, I don't even know if this guy will counter me with the with some type of infinite BAD rushes. Like, I want to see some good all-out bats and all-in action here. So... Let me try to ultra boost in my, my perma charge. And after we have everything set up to go for the defense here, then I think the best way we could probably still somehow handle against BEDs. Like I know I said like a multiple times here, but I want to try to be able to get rushed from my opponent with the uh, with some infinite all-out bats as well. Like I know this guy has a pretty good slime out of the defense here and all about too. But I think we are definitely gonna be stalling for a little bit longer, which is actually really crazy to see. Which I'm kind of happy about that, though. Like, that's absolutely really insane here. Also, the ZMGs are pushing forward, which is actually really hard to do so with the mod domination. 
but I don't even know how exactly that this will be pretty impossible to see if this guy will counter me with the all-out rushes, but I don't really think he's not going to counter me at all, though. So I had to start waiting until in the next few rounds here, because sometimes, whatever, if I want to go all the way to get to maybe on round 30, well, not round 30, but on round 50, all I have to do is to try to be able to go for the home of defense. Plus, we need to get that ultra boosted or overclocked this, so that way it'll help out a ton here. But look how we're struggling that we're doing, though. But the ball domination is actually doing pretty much insane well, though. I'm not too sure if we could try to somehow get countered with some infinite BADs, but holy cow, man. We're definitely struggling because we got like 1 million pop for the ball domination. Like, that is absolutely really, really crazy in my butt. Like, oh my god, man. Alright then, so I think for the next round, which is on round 49 or round 50, I am going to be playing to send my opponent with some infinite all-out BADs. Because I'm a bad feeling that this guy, he will somehow counter me with some all-out BADs in action. So, we have the times 5 for everything off the back, okay. Also, it looks like he's fine for now because he's got, like, a pretty good slime out of the Super Monkey Defense. Oh my god, look how much struggling. The mod domination is absolutely struggling a lot. Oh my freaking goodness. Alright then, so... Hopefully for the time in the next round, which is on round 50, we're going to see if we do get countered with some infinite f band rushes. I know that he might somehow be dead to the AI. Oh, he might be dead to the AI, right? Oh, I don't really think so, though. Oh, my God, man. Whoa, 3 million pops? Almost 3 million pops for the mod domination. Oh, my God. Please don't die to the AI, bro. Oh, I forgot he has Lantern and I. Oh, don't die to the AI. Okay, let's say he's fine, though. Okay, here we go, guys. Round 50 against Fortified BADs. Let's freaking get it, ladies and gents. Oh my god. Round 50 with the Hypersonic BAD. Well, not BAD, but the Maw Domination. We had to somehow get the win here for sure. So we're going to use everything off the back here for the Perma Charge or the Turbo Charges. Use everything, guys. Use everything. Uh, come on. Can we pop the layer, please? I think we could pop it. We could probably just pop it. Oh, no. I'm dead. Oh, we defended. No, we didn't see the cop count. No, bro. I was about to click the mod domination, but... Oh, that was so freaking unfortunate to see. But, my golly, man. The mod domination hypersonic got a lot of time for pops here. And it almost, like... I think in my part, it almost got, like... Maybe 4 million pots for my, for my mod domination, which is actually really, really crazy, but holy freaking cow, man. But yo, hypersonic mod domination goes hard because sometimes, whatever, if you're struggling against the AI ZMGs and much more, I had to somehow do is to try to like somehow overclock my, my mod domination. But the fun fact that we is to pop the fortified BADs on round 50, it was completely crazy that we did somehow defend everything and all abouts too so yeah we will somehow take that for sure for the content since i know we did go all the way to get to round 50 max with a hypersonic mod domination just for you guys we will somehow take that for sure for the content so again just ignoring though but i am gonna wrap up for today's video so i hope you guys all enjoyed it if you guys are not sub please subscribe also smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys in the next one and peace everybody